One fine afternoon, I get an email from Amazon for an application I filled nine months ago. They had set me up a DSA interview in four days without any warning. I had not touched lead code in months, but at the same time, I knew I would regret if I didn't give my best now. So for the next four nights and three days, I solved almost hundred questions, and the only topic I didn't touch was advanced graph. I instead chose DP because they are way more recurring. And guess what? They asked me the first thing in the interview. Literally the hardest hardest question from advanced graph but i didn't know this at that time i literally didn't even remember the names of algorithms like dijkstra or pelman ford and yet i somehow managed to solve the question with the most efficient time and memory complexity that someone could have come up with in an interview in just 35 minutes boom even i was astonished to find this out later after the interview ended my prefrontal cortex had pulled up a divine clutch now i didn't tell you this story just you should off in fact they still rejected me somehow god i hate amazon can you guess how many lead code problems i solved to reach this stage 300 500 900 150 oh sorry less than 150 but i solved those same 150 problems six or seven times i don't even remember so my fellow wolves what i'm trying to tell you is that one the number of problems you solve doesn't matter shit two what matters is an in-depth understanding of the core problem solving patterns not just the algorithms so you can come up with algorithms like bellman ford by yourself in an interview like i did complete mastery of your programming language now that we have laid down the cornerstones let's understand the actionable steps we need to take to get you there the number one mistake people make is not spending enough time with a problem and jumping directly to a solution i saw this redditor the other day who solved 350 questions but they would used to see the solution before even attempting the problem by themselves it genuinely blows my mind that people do this look before trees i used to be really bad at coming up with solutions myself but i made a rule to always spend at least 30 minutes with every single problem at times even over an hour i'd come up with multiple approaches try fail and repeat if my brain couldn't come up with any solution i would at least try to code a brute force approach even though i know it's going to fail on time limit but it's still a win because you learn a lot the questions i hate the most are ones which get solved in 10 minutes because they don't even teach me anything having solved one extra question on my profile doesn't mean anything so the key is to spend at least 20 or 30 minutes on each problem the second mistake people often make is not using a pen and paper you know the universe isn't just going to pop an answer in your brain right to think like a machine you need to rewire your brain into thinking logically you need to alter your habitual thinking patterns pondering won't suffice so here's how you do it the first step is to illustrate the problem on paper visually create new test cases and all possible possible edge cases beforehand and generate expected outputs for them this makes sure you have understood the problem correctly nothing pains me more than having solved a problem completely but for some random ass reason one test case just won't pass even though my calculations are logically all on spot this is literally impossible you damn compiler only to realize 45 minutes later that you misunderstood the problem in the first place the second step is to come up with solution i literally cannot help you here this is completely up to your intelligence intelligence the third step is to visually illustrate your algorithm see if it passes all the test cases you wrote compute its complexity and i usually end up writing some pseudo code as well The third mistake that people often make and I used to for a long time is copying the solution directly from the video. When you don't pass all the test cases and finally look at a video solution, you must resist directly copying the code solution. Instead, try to remember the code exactly and write it down by memory. Initially, it will feel like moving mountains, but gradually you will realize that this is very crucial in increasing the third point, complete mastery of a pro programming language i would also highly recommend you don't use ai at all while solving dsa for even small questions like how to insert an element in an array you can very easily find solutions on google it is very easy to get addicted to chat gpt and before you know it you are using it to solve complete problems ai is actually very destructive for your progress here in my opinion
So far, you must have noticed a pattern in every step to put in a ton of effort or more specifically, you develop enough concentration to persevere the 30 minutes you spend wrestling with a problem. This is the root of what actually makes DSA so crazy hard for most people. And here's one simple rule that will alter the way you look at programming forever. Stop equating outcomes with success or failure. Start equating progress with success or failure. What this simply means is to stop seeking pleasure every time you solve a problem and stop feeling bad every time you fail one. This metric is meaningless. Instead, you should track your progress by how much you learn that day. This will completely flip your mindset as you begin to focus on how much you learn every single day instead of how many problems you solved that day. This doesn't mean you should feel bad or ashamed if you didn't learn a lot today. That's just part of the journey too, which means you actually did make progress. And hopefully if you self-reflect, you can point out the reasons why you didn't learn a lot today so that those circumstances don't appear in the future again, which again means you actually learned a lot today. So stop equating outcomes with success or failure. Start equating progress with success or failure. Please let me know what I missed in the comments. I will be answering your questions. Follow for more and thanks for watching. Manware.